Hey friends, I'm Scott. And I'm Kendra. And we're going to learn about C Sharp. This is our C Sharp 101 series. But before we even start talking about languages and syntax, we have to ask ourselves, why C Sharp? Like, what can I do with it? Yeah, choosing a language is really important. And one of the things I love most about C Sharp is the beautiful syntax. It's all about that syntactic sugar. So you don't need to understand everything about the language right now. But when you want to scale up your designs and create some great architecture, C Sharp is a good choice for that. Definitely. You don't have to memorize all the little details right now. And you also have a whole ecosystem that you can use. So if you find something that you want to do in C Sharp, you can probably do it. I mean, what can I build with C Sharp? Definitely. So you might just be making a website or a console app right now. But if you want to scale that up sometime in the future, take it mobile, go AI, use machine learning, something like that, C Sharp can grow with you. Yeah, it's one language for lots of things, whether it's a Raspberry Pi or an Xbox game or a website or just a little console app that prints out some text. There are really no limits to what you can do with C Sharp, and we're going to walk you through those things today. Right. So this tutorial is going to go through web browser C Sharp language features, and then we'll graduate into using Visual Studio to actually compile C Sharp on your machine. So let's start with Hello World in the browser right now.